Hey guys, welcome to another review. Uh, today we are taking a look at the JBL Flip 2 upgrade from the obviously the original Flip. Anyways, uh, I was really impressed by the speaker. I have to say that. Uh, let's talk about the minor improvements JBL has uh, done. Aesthetic wise, it looks pretty much the same, except the sides are now rubberized instead of the glossy plastic that used to be. Um, you get this kind of a seamless design for the buttons as well. They look like they're touch sensitive, but they're not. They are you know physical buttons, but they look pretty good. At the back now, you just have a micro USB and you don't have the AC in, which you which you had before that, which is amazing. It's one of the best features I think JBL could have made, could have done and could have improved. And I think they are just amazingly well uh, executed. So really nice. I, I have to say that's a really welcome feature. Uh, you also have the regular aux in and you also have NFC now. So which is again carried over from the original uh, Pulse, uh, which... I was I think it was the only speaker with NFC at that time. So I am the pulse the top of the line speaker two hundred and fifty dollars but or something like that, but that's having NFC. I mean this is having NFC. Connecting is again really simple. Just hit the Bluetooth button once and it'll go in the pairing mode. Uh you can pair it and it'll be you'll be good to go unless you're using NFC in which you just have to tap the right hand side and you'll be good to go. No pun intended. Uh sound quality wise I was really impressed. Uh it is a definite upgrade in my opinion. It sounds extremely dynamic. That is to say, it's having a good presence in the mid bass. Makes everything sound very, very lively, sounding good um, presence in everything. All the frequencies were extremely smooth. Have to say that nothing felt overly uh, overpowered or anything like that. Everything was just crystal clear and uh, just a just an amazing sounding little uh, Bluetooth speaker. I have to say that really impressed. All the frequencies, again, as I said, were really, really well balanced and just a good sounding, uh, good experience out of the speaker. I have to say, JBL might have done something to the driver because I think this sounds really, really nice. Uh, compared to the Pulse, I might prefer the Flip 2 over the Pulse. I don't know why. I just think the, the Pulse was too bass heavy for my taste. But again, that depends upon your preference. But I, I do like the Flip 2 a bit more in terms of sound quality alone. So that's really nice. Yeah, I was really surprised by the speaker. There's not there's not a lot of uh, you know a lot to say about this because again the features are interrelated to the videos I've done uh, of all these speakers. So check the description uh, to get uh, to, you know take a look at those videos. There'll be links in the description. Anyways, I was really impressed by the speaker. Again, uh, highly recommend it. Uh, check the link. Uh, check the link if you are interested in buying this. Uh, check my link down and you know contact them if you are interested. If you live in Bombay, India, then check them out. They'll give you a really good price. That's pretty much it guys i really have to say this is a quick really good speaker um that's all i have i think uh, good upgrade uh, i highly recommend it all right see you next time hey guys so there's one thing i really like about the flip uh i think this should be it uh now in the gym i have a home gym so now I'm, i've stopped uh, you know going but it really works uh, exceptionally well now a lot of people prefer 2.1 systems because they are cheaper and yeah, you can get a 2.1 uh, system which is going to be cheaper than the Flip. But I really like the Flip uh, just as a, you know, just as a thing for the gym. It works amazingly well, uh, it sounds really good uh, and everything just fills up really nicely. So I'll give you guys uh, a test uh, this time in this gym because I do these regular tests with my you know, regular microphone. But instead of instead of showing fidelity, by you know with a with a proper microphone, it's you know it's impossible. But still, uh, just a real world kind of a test, showing you the volume and how it covers up the whole room is going to be quite interesting. I'm going to use the the camera's microphone. I'm not going to use a professional mic for this, but I think you know more than that. My my own opinion is going to help you guys more than a test. But I thought I'll do this anyways because it you know it's just, it was just really interesting. So yeah, let's. Let's get on with that, right? Now, I don't know what kind of music is this. Anyways, that's uh, that's it. I'll see you guys, all right? Hey guys, so I don't know if you can see me or not. <laughs> here's my, uh, here's my iPod. I don't know, it's out of focus, but there's the iPod. And right around, there's the flip. Now I'm gonna play and I'm gonna give you guys um, how, you know, you, you guys can see it for yourself or you heard for yourselves. How the, how the loudness and the quality is all right let's get on with it
right, that's all I can give you. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a copyright strike or stuff. Uh, anyways, I, this, this is just for you guys. I hope you get you know a good perspective of the sound. I think it's pretty good. This is one of the best um, what JBL has done. I prefer the sound over the pulse. I think I'll say this in the voiceover, but if not, I prefer the flip two over the pulse uh, every every day. All right. Uh, hope this helped you guys. Hope this video helped you guys. And I'll see you guys next time with another review or with another video. Not not a review, but we'll see, I'll, I'll see you guys with another video, alright? See you next time. I'll go on.